Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Game of the Max and part six of our Hearts of Iron for Kaiserreich, the American Union States. So, in the last episode, we have uh, continued rebuilding the, the United States after the Civil War. Uh, right now, we're on military research, finishing out this little bit of our military tree. And then uh, we've got just a few more to do for Every Man's a King, where we'll be going down the Washington's Inheritor there. Um, the biggest thing, because I was kind of paying, I was, I was watching, uh, I was reading, I wasn't watching, the, uh, looking at my focus tree on the last episode. Um, my goal was to come over here and do back on the world stage and do enter the fray. Well, I didn't realize it, but we can't enter the fray, uh, when Huey Long or Earl Kemp Long is currently our leader. Uh, so we don't even get the option to do that. Uh, we could do Manifest Destiny, which allows us to claim Canada and Mexico, and then pretty much anywhere else in the world. Or we can do Fortress America, which just pretty much means we'll uh, just be neutral in a lot of uh, areas. So, uh, not really, not really sure. Uh, I'm going to leave it up to you guys, so I'm just not going to look at it over here. Uh, we can wait till 1944, just three years away, to try to see if we can get somebody else elected. But uh, yeah, it's up to you guys what we uh, what we'll do. I'll do either Fortress America or Manifest Destiny. Uh, I'm not really huge on Manifest Destiny, but nor am I huge on Fortress America. So the biggest thing for me right now is I'm gonna get military research, the military spending, the new arms factories. Um, probably do. Actually, I'm going to switch for military research mode. I'm going to jump into increased military spending first, new arms factories, and then maybe this will defend. Um, come over here and finish this. Number one goal right now is we need to knock out Japan. Japan's our number one enemy. The only people we are at war with right now. And I need to take you guys... Aim there. You guys are my. That's all right. And then take you guys, put you under a Kincaid, and I want you all to be training. And the reason I'm training these guys is uh, I've got something else planned, and with that, I'm going to recruit some of these marine divisions and I'm going to switch up my marine template marine, marines artillery and artillery that makes them 25 combat with I'm not sure if this is good or not um, I know that I'm going to add rangers too gives them a little bit more soft attack I know this is good for mountaineers but I'm not sure about the marines but I mean they, they look really good 40 attack on amphibious uh, rivers is 16, uh, forts is 12, and 25 defense on forts. Marsh is 16. So, I mean, they, they look pretty good. So, we'll uh, make this our marine template. Get us five divisions pumped out, and then I have a plan. Um, as we can see, Central America down here is about to become Central America under the communist leadership. Uh and my goal is to come down here and actually beat these guys out. Uh, I did have a thought. I wanted to see something. I don't think they have claims anywhere. This is Honduras. So, but yeah, we'll come down here. Uh, we won't form Central America. We'll just split them all back up into little countries um i kind of did some research about it and uh if, if central america is formed under communist and you retake central america or you take central america over and you puppet it they stay communist no matter what your political ideology is so you actually have to uh you have to pretty much just split them all up and then they won't form uh, Central America. Also need to switch you guys. 
went right when I ended the last episode. I realized that they're guarding like the railways and stuff. Uh, all I need them to guard is victory points, naval bases, and coastlines. That's that's the number one thing for right now. We'll get my marines getting ready to take out Wake Forest. Ethiopia declared war in Somalia. No, so we'll aim for Wake Forest, and once we've knocked out Wake Forest, we will uh, kick back. Uh, we sunk five convoys there. Canada wants to buy some more P-36s. I'm good with that. We lost three submarines there. Where's my big fleet at? Don't think Germany's gonna give us or no, this isn't Germany, this is Germany's No, that's that's my island. submarine there we still are fighting the terrorists better catapults uh, do an advanced carrier uh, Kenya was annexed so Kukia land was annexed let's do uh, some defense now let's do better breakthrough Get that army experience up because of George Smith Patton Jr. And then we will be or something going on. It's okay. Norfolk. Let's do better armor. That makes it a lot more expensive. So there was a big fight that I wasn't paying any, any attention to. Uh, let's see. We've lost two destroyers and four submarines. And they have lost four heavy cruisers, 32 destroyers, and six light cruisers. So that's, that's a pretty significant force just for us to lose two. The only reason I knew is because my naval experience jumped like crazy. We are producing planes right now. Uh, we don't have any uh, naval bombers or fighters that we can move, so we got to wait on that. Oh yeah, you guys don't need to be training anymore. And we'll get those guys fixed up. It's better radar. Uh, we can do another radar. Well, I'm thinking maybe like a better range finder. Sending a bunch of troop transfer convoys there. But if we can take Wake Island back and then garrison it, I will be in a much better position. Our fleet can operate in this region better. Let's see. Some two convoys. So there's a large fleet there, some battleships. I don't know if my... Yeah, my main fleet did see them. I don't know if they're... There's the increased military spending. Let's do the uh, increased military spending. So 15% construction speed on military factories, which is amazing. There's 10 convoys sunk. I was thinking convoys at an extreme, extreme level. They've met this fleet. Let's see if my fleet can get over there. Okay, there goes Central America. Right when they form, I need to be ready to justify on them. There it is. But yeah, where they, they formed Central America. 
uh, as you see, it's like the first Congress right there. So if you if you puppet them, and you make them your puppet, they can't do anything but stay communist. They they don't have the ability to not. So we'll immediately justify. We'll just do Belize because it's. Just be the, the one target. Alright, the adoption of the M1 helmets. Ever since the Velts Creek proved the helmets were vital to protect the infantry from flying fragment of exploded ordnance, the American Army has utilized the British Mark I helmet designed by John L. Brody, which gave it its current nickname, the Brody Helmet. While adopted, the U.S. never saw a need to mass produce it and instead continued to buy the models from the British and the cheap during the Depression in the early 1920s. While these helmets were effective at the time, our experience in the Civil War has proven that even the Brody is no longer suitable for modern combat. And as such, a research team was created under Major Her Harold G. Sidham to look for alternatives. The research team concluded that by removing the Brody brim, by adding side pieces and earpiece, and by incorporating the suspension system into a separate inner liner, the new helmet could provide a protection that Brody could never afford. The original test item was known as the TS-3, and it received a favorable report from the infantry board in the recent weeks. With approval of the War Department, it will soon enter mass production to supply our rapidly growing army. Glad we can finally get rid of the Brodies, plus 15 army experience. So we sunk those convoys. I don't think we're going to get to intercept them. Nope. Sinking more convoys down here. There's that heavy cruiser. And here's their... M that massive fleet we've been hunting. Oh no, that's a different fleet. That's uh is that head time, yeah. Let's do uh maintenance companies. Uh we can't operate over there. I got you. You're ready, take, wake. Now. Lost four submarines. That's okay. I need to switch out that. What I need is over here, which is naval refit yards. A little bit more Navy experience. Better that. There's their carriers right there. Better landing crafts. Let's get that bracketed shoot. Ooh. No, let's not waste it. Dual purpose. Something more convoys. Well, my light cruisers have attacked the battleship. A battle cruiser and a heavy cruiser lost three destroyers there. Alright, my main fleet's coming in to attack these two aircraft carriers. Oh, we didn't get it in time. Okay. That's why knocking out Wake is vital. Let's move you on to supporting the invasion. Moving some submarines over here. Good convoys, though. So retaking Wake is number one on my priorities. And then also building Wake up into an actual uh, usable territory. Uh, 
How many do they have on there? I have quite a few units. They have five. I did not expect five units on here. start popping yeah there it goes did we lose any marines no the first and second are hurt but we have successfully retaken wake and i need to add wake onto the defense and i need to take you Back on a strike force. And I need to naval base. You up probably one more. And let's do level four radar tower there on wake. We probably could build some airfields. But I think I'm going to wait on the airfields to like our island hopping campaigns over. Select you. Keep you in wake. There's the new arms factories. Do master for blitz. That makes fighters, that makes everything cheaper. I want to expand my Marine Corps, so let's do the uh, Battleship Research. Middle Africa wants to buy some of my P-34s, it's fine. Oh, here's it is. Five battleships, one battle cruiser, two heavy cruisers, 23 destroyers. moved in to fight this battle. Also when submarine sunk three light cruisers, three destroyers. There's a fight happening right here. Well, my submarines got out anyway. Uh, that's Peru. Peru is asking for some. you boys down here to the coast of Miami or to the coast of Florida trap and the fighting fort the spearhead and the striking sixth we can go down there the Aprist revolution in Peru the red flood has reached the Andes so now you have the popular Republic of Peru uh oh Belgium capitulated down here and knock out Central America. Get a couple of puppets. Uh, let's 
see. My unit should be arriving in wake here pretty soon, that emergency guard unit. Everybody to use trucks for logistical purposes. All right, that emergency guard unit is finally there. Let's see. Don't have enough. Do better artillery. Naval invasion heading towards uh, the Johnson Atoll. I think I can actually take them off of guarding victory points as well and just leave them to coast defense. Maybe that'll get us some more troops on the islands. Uh, better reliability for my planes, maximum agility. Some some convoys. Uh, let me wait four days. I have enough come in here do the naval refit yards and then I need to switch this literally we have the Bureau of Ordnance which you guys if you didn't know in, in real history our torpedoes for World War II for the Americans were horrible at the start because we had a Bureau of Ordnance that like <laughs> they knew that there was faults with the torpedoes but yet they blamed everybody else but the fault with the torpedoes and uh, like our torpedoes were would a lot of the times just hit and not go off, and um, so yeah, that that's what the ordnance board was all about. But they never they never thought they did wrong. There's those carriers. Actually, before you all go out, what do I have for cast right now? Yeah, fifty four naval bombers. 55. Okay. They're all green, so they're not very great. Uh, it'll take them two days to get there. Luckily, we sunk one of their light cruisers, seven of their destroyers. The two ships got away. Kingdom of Spain capitulated. And then you two will delete you off. We got two fighters. So we need two more fighters. There we go. Finland wants to buy some of them P 36s. That's fine with me. So they're 60 and 60. Spotted a fleet somewhere. Well, there's those cra uh, them carriers. I'm trying to naval invade right there. It's the battleship research. Uh, we can expand the dockyards. Our convoys can get a lot cheaper. I want my marines better right now. Let's expand the Marine Corps. Make our marines like the best shock troops you'll find. Make them 
make sure we get them Corolla covered or Corolla flavored crayons. They don't eat the great value stuff. multiplier probably do that one boom boom but we still have two more to go on here that's what we're gonna wait for right. taking wake was the key this was state redeclared war Hoping we would get some of the guys from mainland move out. I think they just moved more to the mainland. Which is fine. Dual purpose batteries. Let's see. Max range. Yeah, we'll do max range. That's fine. I can do this one for 134 days. Yeah, we'll do that. There's my new marine divisions. for just a second. Power game, recruitable population, war justification time, mm. war support, division recovery rate, military factory, political power game, weekly war support, and weekly manpower. Uh, that would be nice. So would that. So would that. We'll do that. Construction of our military factories will go up. There's the advanced carriers. Let's see. Dispersed uh, Industries 4. Superiority, huh? Build on a level four Air Force base there, maybe a level five. It's not really my number one concern, but we'll build one just so they don't have air superiority. over let's do the new training we could do expanding which just gives us a capacity multiplier five percent that's not that much or we could do adds usmc invasion preparation time negative 20 amphibious invasion speed plus 15 and our marines amtrak and amphibious tanks get soft attack and heart attack five percent 
and then we can go down here and get even more soft attack. just drives them straight out and then uh oh well, I said that it doesn't look like they will let you all kinda get situated get you to naval invasion support Sales. Those battleships are about ready, and we'll uh, we'll fix our navy here in a little bit, like what we're producing. Stop uh, recycling our rifles. I forgot we could get flame tanks. Um, yeah, we'll just research better engineers. Y'all are ready. What did you get a medal for? Oh, take retaking Wake at San Juan. Okay. You all go, and you get ready to go. Oh, we're not at war. <laughs> yep. Georgia capitulated. Fields ready. I know we had some of our guys here. I want you to do port strike, strategic. Then you two can do interception. Fun gain for the Western cartridges. Uh, let's see. Watch these Marines go. Hopefully, when they hit, they don't face too much opposition. I'm facing it right here, but. Canceled their sale. take all the territories we were wanting but we do have a at least beachhead secure uh, Cuba wants to buy some of my P36As which I'm perfectly okay with yeah, so the 1st, 11th, 10th and 9th did not secure their objectives which is fine 
It happens. And let's see. You're aggressive, right? Yeah. You can be aggressive as well. There's the fall of Berlin. There's naval training. Our medium bombardier groups don't reach. Do Semper Fi. The screen, submarines, dockyard output's pretty good. I want to kind of get down to the combined arms. Let's do Semper Fi. Yeah, base supply is low. Well, you know what that means. Break out. Fleets. Put you all on a fleet. I want you all to train. Desperate defense right. Now you all start training. Yeah, even if they do desperate defense, they're up against uh, far better troops here in the south. And now desperate defense is gone. And we'll start lighting the floor with them. Do backhanded blow. There, broke their units there. There's the fall of Kiev. There goes Ukraine. Oh. Finish out fighting the terrorists. That should be the end of those. Better airplanes. Japan doesn't seem to want to contest me right now for our navy. And then we'll just form our own little puppets down here. Not Central America as a whole, but we'll get uh, uh, El Salvador, Guatemala, there's a fall of Munich. To send in distas. Take their screen ship. We can liberate. We can't fuck it right. Alright, we'll accept that. Submit demands. Okay. Oh, my poor Bolivia. So just fine on uh, Peru. So they knock out Bolivia. I'll uh, move against them and try to take them back. I can move Courtney Hicks. Back to like San Francisco, Los Angeles. The Marine Corps guys can head back to Wake. From Wake to the Marcus Islands. From the Marcus Islands to Iwo Jima. There goes my fleet, so they must see somebody. 
group of destroyers. Yeah, that little group of destroyers. <laughs> Feel bad for them. Uh, I can do better paratroopers, more radar. Do those flexible bombers. Let me get that. Let's see, all medium plane ranges up. Okay, might need to research some more. Yeah, we sunk those destroyers quick. This is the fleet I just took. Take you to 10. Take you. The ARH Destructor 1. Put him in my, in my scouting fleet. You all, you all, you all, you want you guys trained up, so when you come over here, you're, you're doing pretty good. We actually might leave this naval group over here. Oh yeah, our navy's just going to start sinking their, their uh, convoys like crazy in the region. Delicious. Choose what to do with Central America. Yeah, even though, like, see, it says liberate a little Central America, but it, it even shows you down there where it says Central America with the little uh, at, little accent over the E. Like, it shows the communist flag still, and it it says it changes the national, but it says it changes the national focus tree sent to the Central America focus tree. It does, but it changes it to the communist tree. So we'll just uh, decide what to do individually. I think Nicaragua, maybe El Salvador, Guatemala. We'll bring a little Guatemala. There's the collapse of the Reich's Pact. The Kaiser Reich is about to fall. Bolivia made peace with Uruguay. So, the collapse of the Reich's Pact. News is spread that the German Kaiser's cabinet and certain members of states and key generals have embarked by its air and sea to Middle Africa, where they have erected their government in exile. So, I don't... German government exile make peace. So Russia is taking all these territories. I don't think you guys can choose to do anything else, right? So German East Asia has been taken. Yeah, all you can do is army training. But like, I can't give you El Salvador. Maybe El Salvador has a claim on people? We do have an unruly military. German Empire was annexed. Let's see, Honduras. And we're still a loyal Nicaraguan state. I think Honduras is the one, yeah, they form into national populace. Everybody else is paternal autocrats. They have to have a huge navy. We've only fought one fleet. Four battle cruisers, ten battleships, eight carriers. Yeah, they still have a huge, massive fleet. So I'm not sure. Let's do the better range. Got 66 days for that, and then that would be done. Yeah, they 
must have air. Yeah, they have air base in Iwo Jima. There's ladder shooting. The Republic of Austria capitulated. You do better torpedoes. Just do those better. Coming torpedo chance hit, right? Critical chance. Okay. There's the better maintenance companies. Might as well wait for our tanks since we're so close to the 1943 technology. Do need to research my new rifles. Oh, I didn't even see our fleet go out. Wow, that was that was a sure victory right there. Well, there was quite a bit of damage done. Uh most of their carriers got away. We sunk the Agami, or Amagi, sorry, the Amagi, which is a battle cruiser. Two heavy cruisers, uh, 12 light cruisers, 28 destroyers, most of their planes they had, and then one convoy. Oh, and then we, oh, we re-engaged. Okay, so we re-engaged, sunk both battleships, the Alwari and the Wyoming sunk their heavy cruiser and all four of their carriers there awesome you guys are probably what on your way to repair uh so will actually take you guys back to honolulu because of the difference in repair centers and the ranger needs it no the uss tennessee needs it yeah we got to save the tennessee but I think that effectively destroyed their uh, their main ability to contest us right now. Oh, oh, there's all their battleships. So we need to be prepared to watch out for as much battleships they have. Swiss state's been annexed. Our fleet's on the, well, not the retreat, but the repair. Brazil canceled the non aggression pack with me. Okay. This will take a while to repair. Let's see. Tennessee's got two confirmed kills. They sunk the Kako and the Naka and assisted on the Hoshi. Okay. Military and civilian factory speed. Construction speed. Oh, should have done my navy. It's a shame on me. We've been at war this long and I didn't even do that. So. Northern Ireland capitulated. You guys are doing your General Castro. It's the fall of Portugal. So they'll do this tree and then you guys are doing the second occupation so crushing the resistance 
Very good, very good. Um, there's efficiency gain on our cast. You know, I will be nice. I'm a beneficial friend. It's the German government in exile. You at least have some stability. Weekly change. Ooh. The borrowed time. Black industry with the ore swallow. The locals are in our weakness and the loyalties are shifting. Yeah, I probably won't send them anything then. Canada, do you want anything? You have no manpower. You have no manpower. And you have no manpower. There you go. The Russians don't have much. You got the German Republic under Friedrich Polis. You have the Free Socialist Republic of Germany and the North German Union, the Rhenish Union, the Republic of Austria. Yeah, you are kind of, kind of in a bad straight, that's for sure. Ten wins. Let's see. So we're exporting a bunch of steel. Serbia, Lyria, they all were taken. Brazil's bought a bunch of our aluminium. Can you cancel those? The Indian Empire fell. It'll be a boon to the uh, the one group. Let's see, weekly war support. Yeah, let's do the weekly war support so the share of our wealth gives us growing costs for the share of our wealth, which isn't up right now. Hungary was annexed. Production efficiency gain less, but we get soft attack and breakthrough. And then Studebaker. Let's do better reliability because we've already making trucks a lot cheaper. Why everybody's canceling their non aggressions packed with me? I didn't even do anything. Source output for our synthetic factory so we get more rubber. And we have finally gotten rid of the terrorists after all this time. So they're not aggression fact. I get one more marine division. The Ottoman Empire to Yemen. Venezuela is asking for planes. We've been approached by an officer from the Venezuelan military looking to buy a modest amount of fighters for the use by their air force. Well, yeah, so we'll have to say goodbye to part of our, air, our fighter stockpile. It'd be a rather lucrative contract that would stimulate our arms industries. We sell 50 of our old ones and we get negative 15% consumer goods for 30 days. You know what? I'm okay with that. I was trying to sell those on the market anyway. We might have sold them all. Let's see, is anybody selling anything worth anything? That's not what I want. That's what I wanted. Some Mausers from Costa Rica. Some Thompsons from Costa Rica too. You know what, Costa Ricans? It's a rare... Cement administration. Let's 
social democracy. We don't know who would take power. Hmm. Mind having Costa Rica with us? Do this to that one. Starting to gain some manpower back where we're no longer fighting the terrorists. More reliability for our artillery and everything. So convoys, convoys, convoys. Lost two submarines for some convoys. Get that, wait, not better artillery. Let's get that, the M 1942 carbines. Some more convoys. Well, let's look. Yeah, our submarines are probably having a heck of a time. Not really, they're getting out. Let's see, what do we got over here? The Cleveland. Might actually move McCain off and put uh, Mari over there, leave Kincaid somewhere else. Put you guys. Patriotic mass education. Now we have Japan seizes motor companies. With the nation in turmoil, Japan has seized control of several American motor companies operating there. The Civil War has caused many of the companies to lose contracts with their parent companies, and they have been struggling to get parts for their assembly lines. This has made it rather easy for the Japanese to seize control of them under the pretense of assistance. While this is clearly an illegal act, we are in no position to do anything more than send a strongly worded letter to them. Strongly worded indeed. Lose 25 political power, and we gain, or they gain, a simulation of foreign motor industries, opinion of Japan. Of Japan negative 50. Well, we're at war, so I mean, I guess the opinion of them doesn't rightfully matter. How are you all going on repairs? The USS Tennessee's at 86, the HNS Arizona's at 90, HNS New Mexico's at 61. The Astoria's being repaired, so you guys down here have quite a bit to go. Okay. Patsa on the American Union States for Peru. Uh, here's the 4th of July. This was in the last episode if you guys would like to read this. Land of the Free, Home of the Brave, plus 5 political power. If you guys have not seen the last episode, I, I highly recommend that you go and watch it. We can do new admirals. Yeah, let's do the new admirals. That hurts for our Navy experience. That's fine. We need rubber. Okay. Buy more rubber from Brazil. Lanka? Where is Lanka at? Oh, Sri Lanka. Right? Oh, Ceylon. Yeah, Ceylon. The Ceylon government. Okay. Gu Minchun declared war on the Fang Tang government. Which takes off some pressure from the uh, Nanjing clique. Or the, I'm sorry, the Nanjing government. The market sell. So like 150 convoys. Put a hundred of my Eric Cobras on the market. All of these Corsairs. Put 10, 
thousand of these rifles out. And that's kind of all I want to sell. Let's see if anybody wants them. Most people will probably want those Maricobras. Lost some uh, convoys there. Whoops. Ships even better. Yes, finally, some more military factories are available. Um, let's do twenty, and then add more and more. Don't need nearly as many Avengers. Okay. I do need some floating harbors being built. Morocco capitulated. According to the Commune of France. German government in exile and can you guys do I don't think you can so I don't think they can get rid of their uh, negative 2% a day no they can't okay well that's whatever Victory for the Dominion. You have the Air Autocratic Republic. And you two can't do anything. You have the Cult of Personality. The Old Lord of Nicaragua. Oh, well, that won't happen. You're summoning the. Reserves. Okay. And then you can come back over here and, s and do these. Alright. Oh, the Fang Tang government's getting blitzed now. Some new admirals. We can create waves. Shift your Ship repair speeds at 15% more, which is even better. Let's do armor for all of our boats. Our uh, Puerto Rico is now cored, which is good for us. How's my crew working right now? Give you some more destroyers because you have lost some. Canon wants to buy some of them Eric Cobras. That's fine with me. And you guys down here get repaired incredibly fast. Yeah. So, so. And there's still quite a few that have to. Tennessee's done. Right, New Mexico is the only one. The rest are light cruisers and destroyers. You save my army and the power. I hate to do this while we're so close. I think Lima's the closest that they've got. Oh, it's right here.
you all down here. We're going to go after Peru. Wait, is Bolivia still at war? Yeah. Chief of the Navy, Naval Speed, or Navy Air, attack some carriers. Mm. What do you have a lot? Well, let's do speed. Speed's important. And then uh, the Air Reformer is probably the best there. factories to use build more rifles we'll follow the jeers so you guys are finally building units if you need rifles let me let me know I'll send you some rifles And you're gonna ask for like 500, I think. You're gonna ask for some. All right, we'll create waves. Come back over here, do the federal farm grants, the four day work week, and then the Washington Insider. Yeah, we have enough time for that. Let's do. Naval dockyards, naval dockyards. Improved rubber. Improved construction speed. Just the econ companies. Do the MPs. I think we lost my war goal. Ecuador part of your group? No, you're under the military junta. Nicaragua requires guns. Provisional government within Nicaragua has officially begun to move against the Sandinistas in the south of their country. However, the overall suppression of these movements have required more guns and equipment than expected, and they have petitioned us to give them to supplies to secure their country from the threat of socialism. Not sending the supplies could result in the worst for our country, or for our and their country, if we're not careful. So it would be wise to listen to their request. Yeah, we'll send them some of their. We'll send 500 units of Honduran rifles. I guess I have a bunch of old Honduras rifles. I probably do have a bunch of crappy old rifles. Let's see. Show me outdated. These old Springfield 1903s. Oh yeah, we had a bunch. So let's actually move you to 10. start getting rid of those crappy old art, uh, crappy old rifles. But shell dies, which is really useful. Uh, advanced heavy hulls. There's an extra marine division. Let's see. 
to do heavy attack, heavy piercing, or light attack. Uh, they do have battleships. They have a lot of light ships too. All cruisers and battleships. Let's do the light attack. I need Bolivia to capitulate. Canada wants some of those air cobras, that's fine. Have you all successfully repaired? Yes. There's the USS Enterprise. Russian Republic declared war on the Ottomans. Cuba wants to buy a bunch of my air cables. It's fine. Alright, well, I'm going to end the episode here. I hope you guys have enjoyed, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.